something up with me. Bonjour, folks. How are you? Crazy Steve here. We are in round number five for iloveitspicy.com. The feast your eyes on this spicy cooking challenge. This week we have four different kebabs that we have to make. And what we're doing is one is French, which we are going to be making a beef bourguignon marinated in brandy, bacon, onion, and mushroom. Next, for our seafood medley, we are doing filet of shark, salmon steaks, giant prawns, and sea scallops, which are going to be marinated cucumber, jalapeno, lime, and vinegar. Check out the sauce later on. A little bit of habanero going on there. We have our filet of venison, which will be marinated in a red port wine, stuffed with fresh rosemary and garlic. We're gonna be making a sauce with dark chocolate and currant jelly. And last, we're gonna do a deep fried kebab made with our Cajun cukes, also with marinated jalapeno, mushrooms, those are going to be stuck. Right, folks, stay tuned for each step of the way. First, we are going to chop up a quarter pound of bacon. Chopped dry serrano. Fresh thyme. Chopped garlic. Mushrooms. Pearl onion. Quarter cup of brandy. and a cup of burgundy wine. Turn the heat off and place our beef cubes into the marinade. Now we're gonna take our beef bourguignon, which has been marinating, and we're gonna wrap it in bacon before we put it on the skewer. Another piece of beef wrapped in bacon, onion, guajillo and serrano peppers heating in hot water for about 20 minutes to get them soft. We're gonna wrap our venison in our guajillo chili. Take our knife, carrying knife, and we're gonna drill little holes right into the center of these medallions and stick our fresh rosemary right in there. I'm gonna chop up a little bit of fresh garlic, some of the serrano pepper. We're gonna take our venison and we're going to marinate it in our red port wine on both sides for about four to six hours. After four hours, we're gonna turn this over, marinate the other side. Also take our dried habanero and grind that up. We're gonna use that right in the marinade. Next is our brine for our seafood, which we're gonna use a cucumber, lime, cilantro, and jalapeno brine with serrano peppers, and we're gonna marinate that for about two hours. Fresh sea scallops, giant prawns, our shark steak, and salmon steak. We're gonna wrap our scallop in our sea seaweed, Here, pepper, cucumber, shark, and take a little bit of our salmon filet, again wrap it in our seaweed, stick it through. We're going to coat these in lime zest, lemon, 
and orange before they go on the grill. A little bit of chopped cilantro. Okay, now we have our kebabs for our seafood medley. Ha <laughs> ha! The beef bourguignon kebabs first. Or venison with rosemary, seafood, kebabs. We're going to dust our venison medallions with a rub of ground rosemary and black peppercorns. Turn our seafood kebabs over. Venison going to come off. And take a look at our seafood. Seafood is done as well. For our deep fried kebab, first we're going to heat up the brine from our Cajun cukes. To core our jalapeno, we're going to cut off the ends. And with an apple core, get right in there with the seeds and slowly take that inside right out. Carved out jalapeno and mushrooms. Cover it, take it off the flame, and let it sit for about two hours. Take out our marinated jalapeno as well as our mushrooms. Take our sliced chorzo. I'm going to take a piece of the Colby Jack Cheese. We're going to wrap that right inside and stuff it into our jalapeno. Now we're going to skewer these. Mushroom. And top it all off with our Cajun Cukes. Flour our kebabs into the egg wash. And then into the panko breadcrumbs. To deep fry these we're going to use one pound of lard and two cups of peanut oil. Our oil is at 375 and we're about to put these in. For our deep fried dipping sauce, we're going to use two tablespoons of mayonnaise, a teaspoon and a half of wasabi, and we are going to seep green tea leaves. A little straight wasabi. Dipping sauce. For our beef bourguignon dipping sauce, we're going to reduce our marinade by half. After our beef bourguignon dipping sauce cools slightly, we're going to put it in a blender and puree it. Back into our saute pan. And finish it off with a couple pats of butter. We're going to take our pickled cucumber, jalapeno, and red onion marinated in vinegar and lime juice. Orange. Puree that and use that as our base for our dipping sauce. For our venison dipping sauce, we're going to take a, you want to take a full bodied wine like a Cabernet or like a straight Zinfandel. And I'm going to reduce that by half. Into that, you're going to put some. Jamaican allspice, about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, some black pepper, some juniper berries, a tablespoon of currant preserves, a pinch of dried habanero, little orange zest, and shaved dark chocolate. Some sauce right on top. Beef bourguignon with a burgundy reduction. Filet of venison with a red wine, currant jam, and dark chocolate. Our seafood medley with a dipping sauce of cucumber, habanero, jalapeno, lime juice, and last is our deep fried 
medley of stuffed jalapeno with chorzo and Colby Jack cheese, mushrooms, and our Cajun cukes with a dipping sauce of a wasabi horseradish. All right. Well, I'm gonna first start off with the uh, the vegetable stuff. Got the I think this is mushrooms, right? Yep. Mushrooms, and it's got some pickle in it. That's good. Habanero stuffed with the uh, meat. That's really good. I really like that. Venison. That's good. It's definitely different. The chocolate is definitely noticeable, but not like overpowering. But the currant jelly really has got like an interesting flavor to it. And then my favorite, I'm gonna have the beef right now. Definitely my favorite so far. It's really good. It's a different tone to it because of the spiciness. And because it's wrapped in the bacon rather than having bacon bits in the beef bourguignon, you actually taste a lot more of that as well. That's really good. I definitely like the spiciness added to it. And now for the seafood. Definitely a completely different taste than everything else. Definitely a taste the freshest. Um, I want to get some of the seaweed. Scallops are good. Salmon's good. That sauce definitely has a kick. All in all, everything's really good. Still my favorite is the beef burger yum. That's always gonna be, but definitely the second best would be the vegetables and definitely the the jalapenos. Alright folks, thanks, and we will see you at round six. Cooking, how's about cooking something up?